Good morning, bitch shoot. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Patreon. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. This has been the longest week ever. Good Lord. Uh, with all the stupid that's gone on. All right. I'm frustrated. I've been over on the Twitter looking at that just shit sandwich. It, it really is, you know, the, the, the stuff that's going on. Uh, seeing the connections. Goes to, shit goes back to Jade Helm. Uh, you know, it goes, it goes back to September 11th. It, the, the, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. My biggest problem that I'm having right now is where's the NRA? Where is GOA? Where's the Tea Party? Where's the Republican Party? Where's all the gun right groups? Where, where are they? What are they doing? What are, are they organizing marches? Are they, are they organizing um, anybody, you know, to stand up and, and speak out against red flag laws, to speak out against gun control to speak out against any of this Trump tweeted just a little bit ago the the phrase of phrases common sense gun reform I'm a staunch second amendment supporter as anybody but anything that is said before that but doesn't count it doesn't count now where where are we where are we at? Where are where are the gun owners at? I've been on Twitter. I've been I've been emailing. I've been you know sending messages. I've been sending Facebook messages to these groups. Nobody's responding. Ohio gun owners, they're not responding. NRA is not responding. GOA is not responding. Tea Party's not responding. Public Republican Party is not responding to organize rallies, pro Second Amendment rallies to defend our gun rights. None of these groups are responding, which tells me something. We've lost. We lost. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through the channels. The, the appropriate means of uh, redress, redressing grievances, sending you know, signing petitions, sending emails to congressmen and state representatives and the governor of, of the state of Ohio, Mike DeSwine. Mike the Swine DeSwine DeWine. You know, following the procedures set forth by government when we have a grievance that says, you're not, a, you're going to infringe on our rights and we don't want you to do these things. Stop it. But where are all the, the, the support groups? Where are all the people we donate money to? NRA? GOA? Oh, they released their little statement. GOA's done a little... They've been strong, little, strongly worded. Right? But the NRA is down on their knees with mouths gaping open like a bukkake fest for politicians. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Why? Why? Because some crazy people did some stupid shit and that's going to make me the bad guy? I don't think so. No, instead they're going... We, and we've discussed the ins and outs of the, of the red flag laws, the, the attack on the First Amendment, the Second Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, etc., etc., etc. The long-term plan for it to be abused, to round up political opposition and gun owners and those that would fight back. We've talked about all these things. We know this. We know the plan. We know what's going to happen. Yet here we sit. Yet here you are. Share this message. Get the get the put it in your own words. Send the emails. Take the time. Stop this video or push pause. Take the time. Look up your 
representatives, your state representatives, send an email. Light up the switchboard. Call them. I have been, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. Where are all these other groups that say no more gun laws? It was proven yesterday in Springfield. A good guy with a gun stuffed a bad guy with a gun. A guy had an, uh, an AR with a 100-round, I guess, drum magazine and body armor. And a concealed carry guy stopped him. Yesterday. Good guy with a gun. Concealed carry works. We're doing our part. Where are you? Where are you, politicians? Where are you, GOA? Where are you, NRA? Where are you, Tea Party? Where are you, Republican Party? Where are you, constitutional conservatives? Where are you, libertarians? Where are you at? What are you doing? I'm upset. I'm upset that nobody's doing anything, or at least I don't see any action. I'm not seeing any actions by these people. I'm seeing a lot of people, random citizens, saying no more gun laws. 20,000 gun owners were surveyed. 65% of them said they will not vote for Donald Trump if red flag laws are passed. 95% of gun owners surveyed in 2020 polls said they do not support red flag laws or the TAPS Act. Dan Crenshaw, Trey Gowdy, Trey Gowdy came off, said he would be more than happy to get rid of some of his constitutional rights for his safety. Trey Gowdy, are you kidding me? very video that I'm making right now because I am upset. I am expressing my toxic masculinity, my straight whiteness, my Christian straight whiteness. I'm the enemy because I'm the white guy. I'm the fucking majority. But this video and the things that I'm saying right now could get a knock on my door because I'm a threat. I'm a gun owner. I'm a patriot. If you're not in the fucking gym, training, working out, running, shooting, training, training, shooting, you're not lifting weights, and you're not getting combat ready, something's wrong with you. I know not everybody's going to fight. We've already been through that. We, we've already discussed all that. There's a fight coming. As prepared mind likes to say, a partisan war. It's coming. And the apparat, apparatus of government is going to be turned against us. Even with your savior, your fucking Messiah, the Make America Great Messiah, the Mega Messiah. It sounds like a fucking song. Yeah, with the Mega Messiah... It's going to be turned against you. The, the apparatus of government, the NSA, the FBI, the CIA, the FBI, the the DHS, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Police, the same mentally unstable, unbalanced police that shoot people in the streets. Those are the people going to be enforcing red flag laws. And there it is. Like it or not. Yeah, the mega messiah, right? 
I'm going to protect the eight year assault on your gun rights is over. No, it's not. It's just fucking started. It's worse, in fact. At least people were banding together against a Democrat. But no, hey, a Republican's doing it, so that's all right. That's okay. It must be okay. It's all right. I don't need those rights when Republicans take them. It's all right. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. I mean, you know, I, I'm i pissed off. I, I'm irritated. I'm, I'm upset at the cow towing. I'm upset at the... The, 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 the weakest among us. Here, here's the here's the bottom line. Now, we talk about gun rights and so on. You know, self-protection and all these things and, and, and how important that is. And it is. It is important. But the problem is, is that the weakest amongst us are dictating policy. The weakest. The soy boy beta cuck Pathetic, limp-wristed, estrogen-addled, mentally deranged people are dictating these policies. Here, here's here's the problem with gun laws. Here, here's the abs. I mean, honestly, let's really think about this and boil it down. Not we're not talking about crime. When you disarm your population, when you disarm us. You are weakening the defense of this country. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I absolutely mean that. Our military is strung out throughout the world. Everybody says, well, we have the strongest military on the planet. Yeah, maybe. Against one country, maybe two countries. But the bottom line is an armed pop populace, us, is the largest standing army on the planet. You weaken the national defense and national security of this country by disarming its population. Well, what's your fat ass going to do against a, 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 a fighter jet or a d d At least I'm willing to fight. What are you willing to do? You soy boy beta cuck commie bastards. You ever think about that? You ever think about what would happen if the mainland United States was actually invaded? These same people that are screaming, gun control, do something, do something. I think Bill Cooper even said something about that. That they, if you look at Behold a Pale Horse, if you guys go look at it back in the 90s, they talked about this exact scenario. They said that this was going to happen. And sure enough, right on cue. Do something! I'm so scared! I'm gonna pee my pants! I'm gonna pee myself! Do something! Anyway, yeah, they, they're, they're weakening this country. They really truly are. If you wanna do something, for all you do something people, buy one of these. That's how you do something. You protect yourself. Man up. Grow a set. Suck it up, buttercup. Nothing in life is guaranteed. Not even your right to live. I'd rather have freedom and liberty than slaves, slavery, and bondage. Unless it's the fun kind of bondage. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to lighten it up. <coughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, it's a thing. It, it really, truly is. Do something. The do something crowd. Yeah, you want to do something? Write your congressman. Tell them no more gun laws. All gun laws are infringement. You're weakening this country. If there was an actual invasion of the mainland United States, that do something crowd will be on their knees so fast, sucking commie dick, it ain't even funny. We know where all the gun owners and patriots are. Here, come follow us, we'll show you. 
<laughs> and they'll skip right over to your, your house, because they know you're a patriot, and they'll point the finger. This is him, shoot him, ow, he's so scary. Yes, these are your neighbors. These are your neighbors. Now question, are they really your countrymen? Because they would turn you in, in a heartbeat. They're not patriots. They're, they're barely fucking human. I, 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 I don't, I don't even have words. Uh, I'm, uh, this is, this video has gone off the rails and gone off. Uh, my, it is what it is. Bottom line is guys, do what you can. You know, we'll, we'll follow the, the laws and procedures as necessary and as defined by the government. You know, it's funny. You got the Fox Guardian. The, the, the government's telling us how we can basically, we have a problem with what you're doing, Mr. Government. Please stop that. And the government says, well, if you think we have a problem with what we're doing, here's what you do so we can talk about it and then fucking ignore you. Why is there not 150,000 armed patriots gathering in state capitals on the front lawns of, of these politicians, the the bad, the the, the anti-American scumbags are doing it. How they're protesting in front of Mitch McConnell's house. They're getting together with their little screaming, fucking harpies. No more guns. Do something. The moms demand action. Crowd astroturf. The <laughs> stay-at-home moms that have no fucking jobs. The dependipotamuses. They're going to drag their little fuck trophies along. Yeah, your kids are fuck trophies. They're sticky and they smell funny. For the children. Do something for the... You want to do something for the children? Buy a gun. Get some training. You want to do something for the children? Carry a gun. You want to do something for the children? Arm teachers. And then when one of these psychos shows up, you shoot them in the face. Defend yourself and those around you. Jesus Christ. How hard is it? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry, guys. If this stuff goes through, I know what's going to have to happen. My channel's going to, I'm going to kill, scrub my channel and I'll be making cat videos or bushcraft videos, or camping videos, or shit, who knows. Anyway, but there's that. So, beans, band-aids, bullets, water, knowledge, guys. Bullets, buy guns, get yourself stocked up, get yourself in the gym, train, get ready. It, it's coming. It, it, we've been saying it's coming. We said, I said in February, this summer was going to be hot. I said, expect false flags. Did I or did I not? In February, I said it. Expect the false flags. They're coming after our shit. I'll go find the video. It was like February. I remember saying it specifically. Expect the false flag. We're going to see it. And there it is. So, Beans, band-aids, bullets, water, and knowledge. Because knowledge is something that they can't take away from you. Because they're coming to take everything else away from you. Kaz out.